Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. We've got the conference championship games tomorrow starting at 3 o'clock. We'll be live streaming, and hope you guys join us. Also, program note, if you are a channel member... We, of course, are going to be doing our Saturday, uh, we'll call it the Saturday afternoon bitch session, which when the season is over, we'll turn it on to Sunday afternoons that we've been doing pretty much for two years, almost every single week at five o'clock. Now, this session, of course, is kind of like letting uh, things get off your chest because, you know, the Cowboys have done, ugh, the Cowboys have hurt us so much. This is your opportunity to vent. We'll do these every week. You know, you can get off your mind the things that the Cowboys are doing or not doing and so on. If you believe it's the players, if you believe it's the coaching or whatever, if you believe it's the ownership. Um, this is an opportunity for you to go ahead and voice your frustration with the team. And believe me, we all have a lot of frustration. At least... Um, there is some movement by the Cowboys organization right now. They're already starting the process, and this is where the Cowboys know we're going to screw the pooch money-wise. So when we do these contracts, we're going to have built-in triggers that we can just basically, with a pin, just rearrange for accounting purposes, restructuring contracts to get money because the Cowboys end up screwing the pooch quite often. What people fail to understand when they restructure a contract, in some people's minds, they think, oh, my God, this guy's a team player. He's taking less money. It's not that he's taking less money. It's just basically moving the same amount of money for accounting purposes to buy some time. The reason Dak Prescott's contract number is at $59 million is because immediately after they signed the contract, they realized we need some more money, and we use this like a payday loan. First year was $17 million. Second year, it was $19 million. Last year, it was only $26 million. People seem to think that the reason the team doesn't have players on the field is because Dak Prescott's cap number is so high, and that is a falsehood. But be that as it may, that's another discussion for another video. The Cowboys have already started looking and decided that Zach Martin, as well as Diggs' contract, will be restructured to get themselves some more cap relief. Um, those two deals will enable the Cowboys basically to get back to zero. The Cowboys are about $19 million over the cap. Now, there's others, and we've talked about this a couple of times, where you can go through and restructure deals. You don't have to give Dak Prescott a new contract, um, but if you do, because you can restructure it, and basically, and this is the thing you don't understand, you can say, and ESPN will say, well, the Cowboys, they can restructure a deal and save $20 million. It's not saving. It's just kicking it down the road. Yes, technically it's saving it on this year's cap, but you're putting dead money into those voidable years. It's conceivable that you save $20 million this year. You cut back at the end of the season, but you're going to pay that money when he's not here in the same way you could cut him right now and just say, we're going to take a $60 million dead hit. Either way, there is no way around the Dak Prescott $59 million that's due for this season. You can just reshuffle it down the road and things like that. So we'll see what the Cowboys do. But depending on what the Cowboys' plans are, we have 16 free agents. You can restructure some of the deals. If you're really looking to say we're going all in, the best thing to do would be to extend Dak Prescott where you could get his cap number down to about $20 million. $20 million as his cap number, you're saving like 39. 39 million gives you a lot more money. You can take CD Lamb, if it's okay with his mama, you can go ahead and get him a new deal. Currently, his fifth-year option is at $17 million and probably save about another $7 million on his cap hit, maybe even a little more. So the Cowboys could get more money if they decide we're going to be a player in free agency. And we're not talking about they're, they're going to be a player, but they're going to be, you know, if you, you know when you go to the casino um, and you're looking at the different tables, you've got the 
five dollar blackjack table you got the ten dollar the 25 the the two hundred dollar the thousand dollar minimum minimum okay you can go in and play the Cowboys are only going to the five dollar table. They'll be there with me because I ain't risking a whole lot. I might put in you know fifteen dollars, you know, or twenty dollars for a bet, but I ain't putting two hundred dollars down or a thousand dollars a bet. That's being a real player, okay? That's being a whale. Cowboys ain't being a be whale. They're a minnow. Cowboys are a minnow when it comes to. They're just a minnow. Let's be clear. They're a freaking minnow, okay? They're not going to do a whole lot. But if the Cowboys wanted to, they could get Dak Prescott's deal done and extended. They could get CeeDee Lamb's deal done. They can restructure some contracts, get Micah Parsons in the fold, and still have about $60 million left for free agents. Yeah. If they wanted to. Now, the question will be is, do they want to? Now, here's what the Eagle fans want. And what they want is because Dak Prescott has been the most consistent quarterback since 2016. They've seen quarterbacks come and go. They've got questions now about Jalen Hurts after one good season. Yes, Jalen Hurts has had one good season in his career, got paid, and now they're looking and saying, did we screw the pooch and do another Carson Wentz? What they would love more there's nothing they would love more than the Cowboys moving on from Dak Prescott and us being in quarterback purgatory, kind of like the commanders. Being an intro to this, it could be worse. Oops. You could be a Dallas Cowboy fan. Can you imagine that? The Dallas Cowboys, you see what's going on with them? You got family members of players coming out saying Dak Prescott can't win the big game. He stinks. Stinks. All right. That, listen, with CD Lamb's mother saying it, Michael Parsons' brother saying it, why are they guys saying it? Because that's what they think. That's what those players think. And uh, it's going to be, I know Mark Holmes is heartbroken, dude. He, he, this, this is killing him. Uh, but, I'm okay. You know, maybe Dak Prescott should go somewhere else. And I'll tell you this if Dak Prescott goes somewhere else to an AFC team, I hope he wins a Super Bowl. That would really piss the Cowboy fans off. But listen, it could always be worse. We could always be Cowboy fans where they're ready to burn it all down. They're ready to get rid of their franchise quarterback uh, who had MVP, the MVP quarterback. Yeah, but he can't win a big game. That's always been his problem. With that said, take care. I will talk to you later, of course. Don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. We're all just living in it. But just hold on for a second here. Now, if this defense doesn't work out and kind of does what I think it might do, what he thinks it's going to do, which is be ass ass. I want a new Mother scheme next year. I want to bring the blitz back. I want to bring pressure back. I want somebody that wants to take off your head. I don't care what people say about that's not the game today. No, that is the game today. (laughs) Because when offenses have all the advantages, the only way to kill the snake is to cut him off at his head. You got to get to the quarterback. Denzel Washington out. Yeah, so there you have it from Philly 500. From Philly 500. You know, we're, we're ready to move on to the next defense. So that's what you got. All right, good people. I am out. I got to run a few errands and things, trying to uh, work on some sound quality issues for when I'm on the road and things like that. So I got to go to uh, the Guitar Center for some more plugs. I've got a bucket full of different plugs. There's probably one in there that I need, but I just don't feel like going through it. I don't feel like bucket diving for a plug. So let me just go buy another one. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Peace. You know, I am not a smart man. And after reading all the things that I've been reading about the Eagles today, I am even dumber than I was this morning. That's right. It is getting harder and harder to calculate the calculations of the cornbread because I can't do math and I can't remember numbers. 